Hey, what is up guys? Here doing a 20 million Witch Doctor budget set. Now I'm going to be giving this set away, so be sure to subscribe, like the video, and leave a comment. So, I'm going to start off by doing weapons here. At first I really wanted to use a Scorn, but I end up finding this, uh, this really nice carving knife. Um, so real quick I'm going to see what I can get for sockets and I can get a 60% crit hit damage for 20, 200k so this carving knife is 3 million uh, I don't like that it has 2.4 life steal but I mean it's perfectly fine it has some extra mana regen so this is actually really good because I'm not going to go for the 4p zuni on this set so the extra mana regen is really going to help uh, but it had over 1100 damage it was easily the best uh, weapon choice so I'm going to go for a serpent here now, what I'm basically looking for is what secondary roll I can get. I tried uh, over 200 int, well, nothing really that good. So I end up getting this int vit one for 1.2 million. Uh, probably not the best buy. I probably could have gotten something better, but I, I really wanted to get the vit out of it. So I, I, I honestly, I think I should have gotten the one with the socket, but um, I find this Zuni helm. It has a uh, 3.5 crit hit uh, damage, crit hit chance, uh, 175 in, 74 vit. Uh, the best one on the auction house, uh, pretty good deal. So I'm gonna pick that one up for a million. Uh, next, I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark, see if I can get a, a an ami with all resist, average damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. It's not happening like I thought, but I figured I'd just take a shot at it. So what I'm gonna be looking for here is a high in one. Uh, I find a couple here. Uh, I like this one because it has dex on it too. So, and it's only 500,000. So, that's a really good deal. Um, the dex helps just because uh, if you get some dex, you can you have a chance to get some dodges in there. So, that's really nice. So, here I'm going to be working on my first ring. Uh, the first ring I usually always go for um, pure damage. So, this one is really nice. It has X to X damage. Uh, in, and then it, it even has a uh, plus on life globes, which is just awesome. So I picked that one up for 200k. That's really cheap. And that's a really good ring for uh, that price. Uh, the reason I do the first ring first because I like to go all out damage on one of my rings, and then I leave the second ring to see if I need to go more defensive or offensive. Um, so now on the gloves, I decide not to go trifecta, and that's because everyone wants trifecta gloves. So I figure I can pick up some nice int vit all res uh, crit chance crit damage gloves. So I find a couple pairs that I'm interested in. Uh, so I switch it to armor instead of all resist because not really li like what I see on the all resist. But I find these ones right here, and uh, they seem like a pretty good deal. They're only one million. They have uh, int vit armor, create damage, create hit chance, and I'm gonna decide to pick those up because I really like uh, I really like the stats that are set on them. I feel like they're a pretty good deal. So I'm just gonna throw my gear on, see what I got uh, to work with. Uh, looks like I'm going to go for chest here, uh, going for a Zuni Marrow of course. Uh, n no chance of getting a good uh, off offset roll, you know, like a, a pick up radius or health globes or not or armor of course. So just going to go for the, the int bit, good rolls. Um, I find, I'm debating between these two, uh, I end up going with it, this one, uh, 151 int, 180 uh, bit. Seems pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. Uh, for the trails, I'm looking for an armor off roll. All resistance is going to be too much, so I look for a 8% damage with nice int bit. Um, find this one for 500k. Uh, I'm going to pick that one up. So now I start looking for a witching hour, and I don't know if I can go offensive or defensive. I, I like to save witching hour and the ring for um, for the end to see what I need to do with it. So I decided to just hold off. Um, like I said about the effective health pool pants, definitely going for those. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to throw my current pants on. This way I can just compare uh, the two. But yeah, so the the witching hour in the ring, I'm saving until the end just to see what I need to you know fill in. Um, so it's pretty much between these two. I lose a little bit of armor, but the increased int, I mean the increased vit and the uh, 20 all resist is easily going to be better. So, and it has some magic farm, which is always nice. So I end up getting these pants. Uh, I'm actually really happy with the pants choice. Uh, for bracers, um, I, I really like strong arm bracers. I know they're not 
super popular among people, but I think they're pretty good. Um, they have all resist, int, vit, crit hit, da crit hit chance, so I mean, you know, and life percentage, so I mean, it seems pretty good to me. So at first I'm looking for a high int uh, roll here on the Vi Awards. See that I can't get it, so I'm just going to go for a higher uh, vit roll with a high uh, int. So going for 190, 70, checking, find these ones almost 200. Uh, seems like a really good deal. Uh, you know, 82 vit, going to pick them up. Uh, so, so far I'm really happy with my buys, and here I'm just checking out my stats. We're at almost 600 all res, I think we're at 45k life. So, I see that I can go offensive with my last two pieces, you know, with a little bit of defense, but I mean mostly just going offensive here. So, at first I look for a really high int witching hour with crit hit damage. I just really want to go super, super damage on it, but um, I, can't, I can't find anything worth it, so I'm just going to end up falling back and getting some vit on it. Um, I find this one with 50% crit hit damage and armor and int and vit. This is just a, a great deal in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to pick it up because it, it seems awesome to me. So we pick up that for 1.5 million. And now we get to fill out our last ring. Uh, and this ring, since I just got even more armor on that, I'm just going full damage. And I'm lucky enough to find an X to X damage ring here uh, with really high int, high average damage. 4% uh, crit and 30% uh, crit hit damage. It's just an awesome ring for the for the amount we paid for it. So we're looking really good now. We have over 100k damage. No no gems yet, and I'm just really excited about this set. And here are the final stats. We're at almost 4,500 armor, 130 damage, 55k life, and 620 all res with some nice 700 arcane res and almost 700 cold res. Uh, I'm really happy with how this set came out. I feel like for a 20 million budget, it's it's really good. We have almost 50% crit with 49. Um, so now let's just hop in, uh, keep Death level two, and see if we can uh, snag a couple elites here. So I'm doing this on MP4 right now. Uh, I did MP5, it handled it fine. I did MP6, it handled it fine. Uh, but I decided to drop it down to four because. I wanted to try it, the most efficient farming route. So we're doing MP4 here. Um, for 20 million, MP4 with a Cobb set is pretty good. Uh, the reason being is Cobb, it, it takes a lot more, uh, it takes a higher budget usually to fulfill a good Cobb build compared to like a, a Zombie Bears build. Um, but uh, we're using the build that I just showcased in my last video, the uh, Corp Spider with full offensive uh, uh, skills. Um, and it's doing really well, as you can see. It, it did that elite pack really easily. Um, but back to what I was saying, uh, Cobb builds are much harder to build compared to like a Zombie Bears build because you need the life steal. Uh, you need the proper sustain to be able to sit there and melee and take all that uh, those hits. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm pretty happy uh, being able to farm MP4 to six uh, with this set for 20 million. I mean, I think that's pretty solid. And this is without a doubt a, a really good uh, beginner set. So if you know if you're interested, you're just starting to play Witch Doctor, uh, or you have a friend, uh, you know, please try and you know win. I, you know, I don't, I don't need this gear, so I'm gonna give it away. Um, for the time being, it's this gear is all my witch doctor. So if you want to check it out yourself, you can just go uh, in my armory link below and check it out there. Um, if you guys have any questions, as always, you know, feel free to ask. I uh, hope this video helped, gave you guys some ideas on uh, how to build your budget witch doctor, and good luck with the contest, guys.